I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> I swear this is one of the most unique things to do here in the Philippines. It's just about to say, everyone is probably asking, like that is the volcano just there. Is the water hot? Ready guys, <laughs> welcome back to the Philippines. This is what I've been looking forward to the most on this island. I'll tell you more about it. <laughs> First of all, we have to jump on these jeeps. Hold myself higher than there are the ones that tend to fall. Alrighty guys, today we're going to hike to the top of an active volcano. We're not going to see this till tomorrow. So for the last hour we jumped in these jeeps going through some of the roughest terrain. We went through lots of rocks, through rivers, surrounded by this incredible valley. So we're currently inside or walking towards Mount Pinatabu and that's where we're going to be camping for the night. Alrighty guys, so we're going to be hiking for the next five kilometers to the top of the volcano and the last time this volcano erupted was only in 1991 and currently what we're walking on is all from that eruption and they say it's around 20 meters deep of this stuff. Steve put the scientific word right here. <laughs> and earlier in our week when we're heading to the rice terraces, we actually visited a church that had been affected so much by the volcano. So this church is like pretty close to Manila and half of the church is now underground because of all the lava flow. In 1991, there was this massive volcanic eruption and because of the lava flow, it has literally buried this church. So right here, that used to be the door to get into the church. It's this like is half crazy. Now. So here's the top of the windows and literally half the church is underground because of it being buried from the volcanic eruption. like in the roof of the church the whole place has just been filled in and it's weird being in a church with such a like a shallow roof it's crazy that we saw like this is day 10 of our trip we saw that church on day two and we've driven hundreds of kilometers since then the effects of that volcano were so devastating Alrighty guys, we're a couple of hours into the hike and you honestly wouldn't feel like we're currently hiking towards a volcano. I mean, the scenery around here is so beautiful. There's a whole cavern and there's just all this beautiful greenery. Like, this doesn't look like what we should be hiking to. Alrighty, we've made it to the summit and <laughs> I think we're going to time. It's exactly four o'clock, everybody. Where do we belong? We've been walking for 18 minutes and then you come across this sign that says 10 minutes till crater. Man, the Filipinos must be fast. Guys, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. This is just, I can't even put words. Wow, look at the lake, Steve. And imagine this used to be a whole like lid, I guess. How would you call it? Like the lid of the volcano. Oh, volcano. It's completely gone. Yeah, I know you guys are probably expecting a different type of volcano, but... The whole, when the eruption happened in 91, I think they said like a quarter of the mountain is just gone. And now there is this amazing lake. Wow. And it's super easy hike, by the way. Like I know we were laughing with the time. Super easy. Anyone could do it. 37 minutes from that sign and it says oh, wow. 20 minutes for seniors. <laughs> Oh my goodness guys, I'm so glad we did this. This is definitely the highlight. <laughs> wow.
Alrighty guys, I thought I'd show you our campsite. We are camping for one night here, and do you know what's so special? Is that it's literally just our group. Our guides were saying that to actually come and camp here, you have to write for special permission to the government to come and camp here. People can come hike here, but if you want to camp overnight, you have to send a letter weeks, sometimes months in advance. So that's why it's literally just us here, which is amazing. But they've set up our tents for us. Me and Jess have the double tent, so we share in the tent tonight. And then super nice, so they've actually provided us with mattresses so we didn't have to carry these up. That's our tent. Plenty of space. I feel like this tent. These tents are definitely bigger than the ones we had in Iceland, which I think was the last time we actually went camping. So the actual area where we are right now, it's actually a little bit built up. I didn't realize it. <laughs> they have a snack bar over here where they're going to be cooking our dinner tonight. Even all the way out here, we have a vendor selling us some stuff. <laughs> How beautiful is this place? All I can hear is those birds. I didn't expect it to be this big. Do no. Do like the crater's huge? And we literally just made it for sunset and you can see the streaks coming through over there. I mean, wow. Guys, I know we said the three-day hike to Batud that we did a week ago was the most underrated spot in the Philippines, but I mean, why is no one... Why aren't people talking about this crater enough? I mean, this is amazing. I'm honestly starting to appreciate this type of travel more. Like if you're asking what my favorite thing is, it's going for a hike into the middle of nowhere and just camping for the night. Just in the nature, just us. It's literally nobody else here and it's sunset. I mean, I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> Touch the water. It's just about to say, everyone is probably asking, like that is the volcano just there. Is the water hot? I just touched it. You just touched it? Are you going to be cold or warm? Is it going to burn me? Or? No! <laughs> it's warm! Oh, it's warm! Wow! This is one of the most unique things to do here in the Philippines. Like I haven't even heard about doing this hike, let alone being able to camp on top. And also, I just realized we're actually sitting kind of inside the volcano right now. Yeah. Because look, it used to be 400 meters higher. You're probably going to scare your dad right now because that's know. the volcano hole just there. <laughs> Sorry, dad. <laughs> <laughs> the sun has officially set. It's looking like a clear sky tonight, so we should be able to get some stars, but the crew has just set up dinner for us over here. Looks great, looks like they've serv served us up some rice, some veggies, and some deep fried tuna. <laughs> unless we make some s'mores. So you've got a marshmallow, and then we found some crackers with chocolate. They're probably not the proper American ones. Got some Filipino version. This is a Filipino s'more. Squish. Perfect s'more. Perfect way to end our night here. Oh, and all of my days Cheers, Bobs. Cheers. Still can't get over this view, sunrise or sunset. That was a beautiful campsite. Alrighty guys, now I can check off saying we camped the night at an active volcano. That was such a special night. Now we're making the walk back. I think it's a two hour walk and then our one hour Jeep to get back onto our bus to head back to Manila. 
So we left at about 7.30 in the morning and it is so peaceful and quiet and this little walkway leading out of the actual volcano is super nice. It's kind of like a bit of a river, super luscious around here and it's insane how much the scenery is going to change over the next couple of hours. We're going to go from that lake to this kind of forest here and then it's going to be June bugging through the dirt. Alrighty guys, we are back at the Jeep. It takes around, what was it, an hour and a half to get here? So that's kind of how long the hike is, but yeah, ready to head back to Manila. Morning guys, we are back in Manila and tonight we have a flight to Palawan. We are actually going to the islands. Alrighty guys, we are now at the domestic airport because we are flying to the islands. So I hope you enjoyed that look of exploring the mountains. If you are new around here, hit subscribe because we'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> guys, it's our first time going to the beach here in the Philippines. This is so beautiful. I can't believe it. What we just went and did. It was like I 100% recommend it. That was awesome.